designers work with principles of perception. These principles explain how our brain processes visual information. Image is more than what you see with your eyes. It's how your brain reads and interprets it. Any image, or even a worried-looking mark like an ink spot, stimulates an immediate response from your brain. Your brain will search through a memory catalog for the easiest possible explanation based on your experience. What is it? Have you seen something like this before? Your brain will always look for the easiest possible solution, and it will jump at the very first familiar association it can find. When your brain receives a visual information, it looks for an explanation. Is there enough information for you here to interpret it? You can have some ideas, but obviously not quite enough to explain what the picture is about. It's pretty much open for interpretation. Now you have a little more information. One more detail, and you can see a horizon line with a mountain range. Think about it. Things might not be the way we think they are. What we see is affected by the surroundings. Kurt Kofka, one of the three founders of Gestalt Psychology, described the remarkable effect of placing a gray shape over different backgrounds. It's called Kofka ring. How many variations of gray can you see? When the design is split, you can easily see the difference in the ring halves. Can you tell which one is darker? When the design is shifted, the difference becomes more obvious. But when the two halves are aligned, you realize that the ring has a single solid gray tone all around and actually headed all along. How we see things is always affected by our personal experience and background. How many of you remember or recognize what this is? Well, some of you might even remember using it, like me, but for many it became a symbol of safe action when we need to save our work on the computer. If you did not have this prior knowledge, most likely you would not be able to identify this as a floppy disk. Context of the graphics is extremely important as it can change the way we react. Using just these two shapes, you can communicate different messages. Right now there is no connection between the two. If you move one of them, now it starts making sense, I think, looks like a girl. Two girls. Oops, now it's a different story, different context, especially if you see this on the door sign. Make sure you knock. Part of your personal experience is your cultural exposure. And I do not mean how often you go to a museum or how many books you read in a month. I'm talking about the social culture. It does affect how you see things. Here is a nice octagon. Any thoughts? We're so used to this shape meaning stop, that sometimes we do not even need a red color or text inside the shape to get the message. The shape communicates alone. And there are so many other symbols and signs that we're so used to and react to in our culture. We interpret visual elements without even thinking of how it's done. Again, thank you brain. I am going to show you a few examples of how we interpret some basic things when we see them. Because how a graphic element is placed in the picture affects how it's being read. Once a mark is placed, it appears to us as an object in front of an empty background. It looks closer than the white field behind. And it does not matter what color either one of them is. Adding another line that is smaller causes another interpretation. The larger line seems closer in space now. If you extend the line off the paper, the image loses its spatial quality and looks flat. The line now is just a divider that separates the paper into two parts. If a line is slanted, our brain interprets it as a receding in space. A low perspective. The principle of Gestalt states, the sum of the whole is greater than its parts. Meaning what? As you look at this, what do you see? Do you see an old-fashioned bicycle? Or a frame, wheels, and a bunch of other parts? If you're human, you saw a bike. Yes, we as humans see whole before we see parts. Here is another example. 
At the very first glance, what did you see? Face or fruit? Most likely you saw the mango person. You know why? Because you saw the whole picture first. Your first impression was that it was a face. And only after that you recognized the fruit. There are five basic principles of visual perception according to Gestalt psychology. Similarity. We visually group similar elements. Proximity. We visually group objects that are close. Continuity. We move our eyes from one object to another as we would follow a path. Closure. We finish and complete shapes. Figure ground. We see foreground and background on the flat surface. So before you start planning a design, remember that it will be read and interpreted. It will be viewed and read based on what we just discussed. Personal experience, context, cultural system of symbols, interpretations and gestalt principles. Good luck!